everybody's top water Johnny and in this bass fishing video I'll be doing a lure review testing and bass fishing with the mega bass anthrax it's an upside down dying top water minnow so we're gonna see if we can make it happen let's go Holy cow, folks. Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! And that one. Everybody, Top Water Johnny here. I want to welcome you to the next video here. And as you saw in the intro, we're going to be fishing with the Mega Bass Anthrax here. It's an upside down dying minnow. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to test it. We're going to do some testing on it. And then we're going to fish it as well. So please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and test out the Mega Bass Anthrax. All right. All right, everybody. Here it is. The Mega Bass Anthrax right here. So we're going to go ahead and take it out here, test it out here in the water, see how it does here. And what I'm doing is I've got this hooked up on my spinning tackle. I've got braid to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and I'm going to fish it that way on a spinning tackle setup here. This is a seven foot rod right here that I'm fishing with here, as I said before, on spinning tackle. So the whole point of this lure is to just look like a dying fish. That's really, at the end of the day, what this is all about. So it's a light lure, and you could add weight to it to make it sink if you wanted to, but it normally just sits on top, nose up, and then as you reel it, it will drop down because it has a bill on it. It'll drop down about a, about a little less than a foot and kind of wake back and forth, as you can see it coming in right now here. And really, the hits that I think really will make this thing work is once you cast it, you let it sit, once again, you let it sit, and then you pop it. So in other words, once again, I thought I heard a splash over there. You hit, then you let it pop. And then as you do that and start to reel in, you reel in a little bit, let it go, and it'll float right back to the top. So you want it to mimic a dying fish. You reel, 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 let it come back up, look like a dying fish. All right, so what we want to do here is get you guys a closer look at this thing as I'm testing it. You see it sitting there on top. It goes down, comes back up, down, comes back up. It's got a rattle in it, just so you know. It's got a rattle in it. So that rattle also helps them hone in on it. Down, as you can see, it has a great waking motion, just like a fish. But what I would do is this, once it hits like this, then I do like this, I pop it once, real, real, let it go, real, real, let it go. Because what I'm doing is I want it to look like a dying fish on top. And if those bass are looking up, they see that and that normally triggers their, what they call predatory instincts. But they tend to eat a dead fish and get it out of there. So once again, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up. So that's, kind of, that's how I've been fishing this lure. And that's how I plan to continue to fish it. Because I really want it to mimic an actually a dying fish here. So I'm going to cast it out one more time here for you guys. All right. I've seen some fish busting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, not sure if I can get them on camera here, but throw a few casts at them where I saw them at. Real, real, pause. Real again, pause. Like I said, when you see them out in the center busting, it's best to try to get on that as fast as you can. Like if you see them, because they're only going to be in that area for a short time circling around. So you want to kind of throw, I try to throw over where they're busting at and come through that, that strike zone area, hoping that they will still be floating around in that area looking up. And that's what I try to do. So once again, this has got a, as you can see, it's got that back and forth motion here. Also, another area that I like to fish when it comes to these dying fish lures is the corners of ponds and lakes because that's a good ambush point for a bass 
and they're kind of they could be sitting under the the pads or they could be sitting under this grass and hydrilla waiting so i try to throw just outside of that and look like that dying fish is just trying to struggle to get by and then they look at that normally as a as a free meal not too much stress on them one more cast here like i said before trying to throw down the line and it casts really well just so you know it casts really well and i can see it here in the shallows and i just pop it let it die it comes back up let it die let it come back up again let it die and come back up again there we go Yep, this thing has great, great action on it here as well. Great action. Okay, everybody, so there you have it. The Mega Bass Anthrax. Also with this lure, I think it's important that it's got, see, because see it has a bill on it. So if you keep the rod tip down, that's what makes it dive down just a little bit deeper, like less than a foot. But if you keep the rod tip up, it'll stay truly on top and wake because of this little fin right here. So you'll get a lot of waking action as well. But I really think it's that throw, pause it there, pop it one time and then reel it, kill it, let it float back up again. I think that's really the technique that will make this lure really stand out. So there you go, everybody. There is our, that completes our testing of the Mega Bass Anthrax. All right, everybody, it's the top water here. And what we're gonna do is now it's time to go fish this lure, be a little bit more aggressive, try to run some fishing on it, see if we can get some fish to bite. So that's what we're gonna do now is move into our fishing phase. There we go. Mega Bass Anthrax, everybody. Got me one. Got one. There we go. All right. There it is, everybody. Check it out. On that Mega Bass Anthrax. Right there. He saw that little minnow. Couldn't resist it. Okay. All right, everybody. There he is. On that Mega Bass Anthrax upside down minnow. Okay. Hey everybody, start with Johnny. Check it out. Got this one right here on that Mega Bass Anthrax. That upside down minnow. He saw it along the edges. It's all free lunch. Went at it, struck it, and we got him. So that's no complaints right there. Probably about a little about a pound or so here. But it proves that that lure does put in work and will work. All right. All right, everybody. There we go. Nice little one here, okay. Well, everybody, we just proved that the Mega Bass Anthrax as a test lure does work and it will get hit by fish. So we've proven our theory. So we'll just keep on going and see what happens. All right. Hey, everybody, it's Water Johnny here. Wanna thank you so much for watching the video here. I cut the video a little short because I really had a chance to go out and fish this lure, and I've got a lot more bass fishing catches that I want to show you, so I've decided to make this into a two-part video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a closer look at the lure right now, then I'll come back, give you my final thoughts about it, and then next week we will watch the rest of this video where I'm really putting this into work and catching some nice bass on it. So let's go ahead and do our review right now. All right, everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. We've got our Mega Bass OG Anthrax. The actual weight of this lure is a half an ounce. 
The actual length of it is 4.13 inches. This is actually a floating lure. As you can see, the bill on here means that this lure actually floats in the water through this angle right here, looking like a duress and dying bait fish right here. So as you can see, it's got a fin on the actual top of it here. And the actual insignia for Mega Bass is right there, of course. But it actually floats upside down like this so that when it goes across the water column, it is looking like a distressed and dying fish, which should trigger those bass to bite. So there you go, the Mega Bass OG Anthrax Top Water Lure. All right. Okay, everybody, we're back. And this lure, like I said before, is a really special lure when it comes to top water bass fishing and a very unique lure here. Once again, I want to show it to everybody here. This is once again, the mega bass anthrax 100. As you can see here, it sits on the water column and it sits upside down. So it's a dying fish it has the actual bill on the top right here, which gives it a lot of action here. As you can see, I've got this, as you can see here, set up it's braid to a monofilament line right here and then i've got my actual egg snap on here as well so this has kind of been this this was a setup that i had in the video and what i wanted to do was show you guys this lure in action now some things about this lure that i want to share with everybody here first that i actually bought this lure because it was kind of hard to acquire from somewhere locally here in the, in the states so I actually got it from Japanese, uh, J I'm sorry, Japan Fishing Tackle. And if you wanted to look it up, it would be jpnfishtackle.com. I'll put that in the description box for those that are interested. One thing that I will tell you about this particular service is that although it's in Japan, they deliver really quick. Like if I place an order say today within four days that lure is all the way from japan to here and the reason is because they deal with fedex and they charge you 16 dollars 99 for shipping so this lure that you see right here i actually paid 19 dollars 99 for they attached 16 dollars 99 for shipping but here's the catch if you decide to buy this lure and maybe two other lures all that goes into one box and one shipping price. So if you bought a couple more lures, then the price itself wouldn't seem so bad on shipping. But I actually bought this lure and I bought another lure, another one here. Check this out. This is actually a used lure and it's the same lure as you can see right here, but it's a bigger version of it. And I bought this bigger version of it and actually this lure was $14. So when you put them together, it actually came out to be a better price overall. Now, the reason that I'm, I'm sharing all that with you is because next week, I'm going to be fishing with this lure right here, as well as showing you footage of me catching bass with this lure right here. And I'm really excited about it because the fish were really keen on it. So I want to create some video for you guys to see and experience that. And as I said, that's really what that I want to do here. Also, and I got my notes here because I don't, I don't want to miss anybody, the Mega Bass Anthrax. Now, when I first got no, actually got told about it, it was from John, one of my subscribers, John Humphreys. He's the one that put me on to this lure right here. And so I just want to say once again, thank you, John, for telling me about this lure. This is a great lure, and it really does do a great job. He actually bought his from Carolina fishing and tackle but then they actually sold out so i told you where you could go find this type of lure and other type of japanese lures i showed you that look in the description box and you'll find it as well as you can see on here i've got a particular like i'll show it to you here really up close that is a decoy what they call a decoy egg snap right there that's actually holding that on there and I want to share with you and give a special thanks to Rock Nemo. He's the one that put me on to these snaps when he saw me lose a fish based on probably the snap breaking and stuff. So I went to actually Tackle Warehouse and I bought me a few of these right here. I actually have a four, a two, and actually a three. 
because I fish in different types of situations with these. So my heavier line, I got the four, kind of middle middle of the road, 20 pound, then eight pound, I got a two. So I want to thank, actually thank Rock for recommending that. I want to thank him also for sharing with me about a special Alberta knot, a crazy knot. It's called a crazy Alberta knot. So I want to thank him for that because I started tying the knot that way as well. And then finally, because he saw me fishing with the and it was the actual what was that lure again i can't it's hard it's hard to remember what the lure was but it was one that required a regular singular hook and he saw that i was fishing with this particular lure and actually the hook wasn't the right one so what he did was he told me he said you need to get the mustad grip pin hook here to actually tie that on there so it was a top water popper bait and it slides down a lot on there. So he recommended a hook that I should be using. So I want to tell him once again, thank you, sir, for recommending that because I definitely went out and bought that as well. So now when I use this plastic popper, I'm able to actually, you know, make sure that the actual bait doesn't slip. And I'll show you guys here real quick what we're talking about here, just so you guys can know what I mean by slip. When you're dealing with maybe a worm or even a plastic popper, as you can see, there's that little nodule right there. And that nodule, when you run the, when you run your bait through and it sits there, this actually is a keeper and it actually holds that bait right there. So by holding that bait right there, now over time, your actual bait won't wear out and won't break down. And the actual lure that we were talking about was the z-man pop shad z and as you can see right here once it's on there that keeper actually is holding that piece of lure in place so that as it starts to wear down a little bit it will tend to slip but with that keeper it'll hold it right there in that spot and allow that to stay in place so i just want to thank rock for recommending that particular hook because i hadn't thought about that as a way to keep it up there. I just kept massaging it and playing with it. So it wasn't working out well for me anyway there. So I just wanted to thank Rock for that. And as always, I just like to thank all of my subscribers for their feedback and their thoughts as well. Also, I'm getting ready to release some more merchandise, another t-shirt with a phrase on it. So I'm gonna be dropping that soon. We're gonna be doing the giveaway, of course, soon. Those things are all kind of coming up. I'm kind of building up and looking at all the different lures that I'd want to put into the giveaway. So I'm working on that as well there. But as I said before, this lure is a really great lure. And I've got some really nice footage that I want to show you guys next week on this lure right here when we're just purely catching bass on it. And so I definitely want to show that next week to you. But I wanted to kind of do some housekeeping in this video here and really thank people for what they recommended to show people and also just to get your thoughts here you know in this video my goal was to really try to show you and teach you how i'm using these lures and hopefully you can adapt some of those to your skills and learn to do it as well because when you're fishing top water it's all about matching the hatch but also being patient because when you're doing top water it's so exciting to just yank that line the moment they hit. But you have to be patient. You have to hold for a moment and allow them to commit to the bite. And then once they do, chances are you're going to get them. So really, I wanted to kind of show you guys kind of what I think about and what goes on in my head when I'm fishing top water, whether it's slick, calm, or choppy, or whatever it is out there. So once again, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. Please leave a like. Give a comment. If there's some lure that you have an interest in that you think that would be great for me to showcase, recommend it. I'll check it out. And if it, if it fits right for what I'm doing, you know I'll buy it and I'll get it and I'll put it out there and we'll fish it. So once again, just want to thank each and every one of you guys for your support, for your comments. And I want you to always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, especially lures that look like upside down dying minnows, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.